Governor told the crowd of worshippers that peaceful coexistence among the various religious and ethnic groups was paramount if Kogi State is to make meaningful progress. He promised to fulfill his side of the deal by delivering dividends of democracy to the people. This change begins with we, the leaders of this country, and we are calling on all the citizens to please have a change of attitude and character towards public life and their private lives. And indeed, by the grace of God, it can only be better. Inshallah. He had words of advice for hundreds of youths who followed him from the Edith Prayer Ground to Government House, Lokoja. The economic recession we are facing in the country today, Mr. President, is going to lead us from this economic recession. I, Al-Hadi Bello Yahaya, will lead Kogi State from this economic recession. Let us remain peaceful. Let us remain calm. Let us remain law abiding. We should not turn each other against ourselves. Nobody can attack me, nobody will attack me. The people of Turkey State are my own. Other visitors to government house included an entourage led by the Megiri of Lokoja. It is where Majesty Al-Hadi Muhammad Mekalvi, the top, the Megiri of Lokoja. And uh, he actually preached peace and harmony amongst the people. That where there's no peace and harmony, there can be any meaningful development. The traditional ruler said all Kogi people should rally around Governor Bello and embrace his roadmap aimed at making the state a better place. Avoy Unwogu, AIT News, Lokoja.